Hello, thank you for reading my article on changing habits. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something that you can apply to your practice with your clients and even yourself. I'm gonna touch on a couple more things. The first one is on um, in the brain, what, what is happening when we're forming habits. So synapses are those connections between your neurons, the brain cells. When you are forming a new habit, and as you continue to practice it, those synapses get stronger. So those connections get stronger. That's how the habit is formed. Because as that those synapses get stronger, that habit, that action, that behavior becomes more automatic. When you have habits that you haven't practiced for a while, the brain will actually go through and prune it. And that's called synaptic pruning. And so what we want to do when we're forming new habits is we want to strengthen those habits. So I want to teach you a little... Uh, technique that comes from BJ Fogg from his Tiny Habits program. It's called Habit Stacking. And maybe you already do this and you've heard of it. Um, but it's just another way to, instead of trying to form these new habits, you are still trying to form the habit, but you're connecting it to a habit that is already well established. So for example, let's say that you or your client wants to add more leg work, okay? Hip and leg work into your routine. One way to do that is to connect it to a habit. So let's say um, you wash dishes every evening. You already have that habit. You're cleaning up the kitchen. You can stack the habit of leg lifts, squats, heel raises, whatever it is that you wanna add into that while you are washing dishes. So that's one example. Um, another one might be, let's say you want to start a, a routine of reading at bedtime. So you already have an established routine and habit of making your bed in the morning. So one way to do that would be to take a book and place it on your pillow. So that way at bed, you already have, you're reminded that you're going to read that night. So you're stacking that habit with your with making your bed in the morning. Um, here's another one. Let's say you have your habit of brushing your teeth, hopefully. And so you want to have, you want to start a habit of meditating. So you can stack that with brushing your teeth. So your trigger is, so when I brush my teeth, I will then just kind of pause and do one minute of meditation. So this is just another way of using those triggers that we talked about in the article um, and, and stacking those with your habits that you want to form. So I hope that helps and I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.